Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live stream. It is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. And as you can obviously tell, I'm not alone tonight. I have uh, Koi with me. Hello, Koi. Hey, everyone. Uh, so Koi is uh, a fellow Chicago doll collector. Um, and I feel like I've, I've, kn- I've known you... I've known you like on and off for many, many years. Uh, <laughs> I I don't know uh, when when did you um, start collecting? Um, I mean, I guess it started long ago with more with action figures and just kind of evolved into dolls and stuff. Um, I have four sisters, two of them younger than me, so I kind of had an excuse to delve into that for a while. So it's kind right. Of- so probably, I want to say maybe thirty years or so. I don't know. <laughs> long time. It's a long time. Uh, yeah, I, I just started collecting dolls like a couple of years ago, so I'm very new to the scene. Not, obviously, I mean, but it hasn't been like consistent. But it, you know, it obviously started back in the day with like with like the Star Wars line back in the '80s and stuff like that. Right. And just kind of random stuff here and there throughout the years. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's see who's in the chat and say hello. Uh, Mo, welcome. Uh, Serena had to leave. So hello and goodbye. Um, mysterious, not so serious, Dev. Welcome. Um, Disney Fun with Bennett. Hello. Welcome. Marilyn. Um, did I have a good day? I did have a good day. Uh, although it is it is gross here in Chicago today. <laughs> I can to attest to this. Uh, it is like rainy and snowy and cold and miserable. So weather-wise, not so great. But uh, yeah, I... Uh, other than that, I think I had a good day. <laughs> um, Bear. Hello, Bear. Uh, Meryl, welcome. Chris, welcome. Barbara, welcome. Diane, LaShawn, Miata. Wow. Guy Lane. JC. Uh, Angel? Oh, Angel, Angel, Angle, Angle. <laughs> I'm butchering your name. I am so sorry. Uh, uh, let's see. My collection is very impressive. Thank you, Mo. Um, it's been raining here in Mass, and there's going to be a snow. Yeah, I think the weather, I think, uh, yeah, our weather is coming your way. So, uh Good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, it's not cute. Uh, so yes. Uh, so today is the first night or first first night. I'm doing my giveaway. So all the whole month of April, I'm doing two giveaways, and yeah, and we'll do that at the end of the show because I'm going to make you wait. So, um, uh, snowing, raining, Iowa. Yeah, I feel like the whole Midwest is probably gross right now for some reason but um all right let's uh let's get into some news uh but i i was telling Chloe earlier i there's nothing i really saw this past week that was really interesting to me i know stuff probably there's probably stuff that came out that i don't know i'm just i'm just just like whatever um but i kind of wanted to talk about the mattel creations calendar um i know that i have i guess i have more questions than anything so this fan club membership doll that's coming out on the 12th does anyone know what this doll is koi do you know i i don't i wish i did now now I'm checking um, the wallet to see what's going. 
I just I I'm like I'm like racking my brain. I'm like, what is this doll? Is it something that we know about, or is it like a surprise doll or something? But if anyone in the chat knows, um, please uh, speak up. I'm also, start uh, <laughs> I am I'm also excited about the Barbie looks coming out on the 14th. Finally, um, are you planning on getting any of those, Koi? About which ones? I'm sorry. The uh, Barbie looks. The um, new ones? Yeah, usually I like I, I can't remember if there's I'm assuming there's a male doll in there. I usually get the male dolls for sure. Um, yeah. And there's one or two that I've seen that look super, super cute. But I'm kind of I kind of I gotta admit, I kind of grab them more for they're made to move bodies sometimes. I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like a lot of people do that. Um but uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the guy. The the it's a beefy it's a beefy black guy this time, which yeah. is awesome. Uh, and there's I think uh, the redhead. There's a redhead that I'm kind of interested in also. So um, I do like that. with with a lot of the look dolls. Uh, the thing I like the most out of them is they're all serious. They all look serious. Like none of them are like goofy grins or like right they're models pimples. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> um and then uh oh meryl says the fan club operetta was coming out interesting so i wonder if it's operetta oh that could be operetta we got two two confirmations so i'm gonna say we're gonna say operetta um, yeah, I don't know if I like Operetta. Uh, I don't know if I like her enough to get her. Um, I don't really, I don't really vibe with her whole aesthetic, her whole, her whole, her whole like, um, rockabilly kind of vibe. Mm. I don't I know. I want to see, I haven't seen any leaked pics or anything, but I kind of want to see like what's under her mask if they <sighs> went a little more overboard with that. Right. Um, so then on the on the twenty third, there's an inspiring women series from Barbie. Any clue? <laughs> no. Um, there was a calendar long ago with some of the ones that were coming out. I can't after the Stevie Nicks one, I kind of like stopped paying attention. <laughs> It's it's a lot. It's a lot to keep up with, like all the leaks and and uh, between like the unofficial leaks and the official official leaks, like the stock photos. It's like I, you never know what is actually coming out or when is sure. when stuff is coming out. Um, and then there's a Barbie style fashions coming out on the twenty sixth. So it should be interesting. I like that. I like that. Not only this. Mattel, but Integrity is also jumping into just making more and releasing mm -hmm. those fashions on their own. Yeah. Uh, so, side note, Integrity. Um, so, I've been a member of Integrity Dolls for about a year. Um, I think I purchased like two, <laughs> two dolls. That, <laughs> there was nothing that was like super interesting to me. Um, so, and if it was, I just, I get, I think at the time I couldn't afford it uh, because they're, they're real expensive. If you don't know Integrity yeah, Toys, yeah. they're, they're pricey. Um, and I feel like with Integrity, I really have to like really be into it and really, it has to like, you know, move me or whatever. But, um, and there was actually a, there was actually a something that came out today Um not supposed to talk about it, but something did come out today, uh, which I don't think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> uh, although the one, the, the the guy doll, I'm like interested in, but um, I think I don't, I don't think I'm interested enough to to get him. But I'm kind of um, on the fence myself. Like I really, really do, but I also really need to get a job. So that's a whole other. <laughs> Priorities, priorities. Um, I did like the uh, the the fashion the, the fashion pack the 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 previous one that mm. just came out. Yeah. Um, but I don't have I don't have any girl 
integrity dolls. So I think I, I think that time has passed where we could talk about that outfit set, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, we. Uh, I think so. Right. Well, we can say it's a poppy oh. size. I'll say that. Hold I'll on. get in trouble for that one. Well, <laughs> let me see if. Because it would be on their website, right? Um, Bear, I have I have the Trixie Mattel too. I love her. Uh, uh, Ooh, Nasara. Uh, You'd have to check um, the email. They yeah. Tell you when the. I feel I feel like the outfit is it's been it's th that was that was like last week I think yeah that's been over a week usually yeah not a week there but anyway you go to go to integrity to because I feel like it's on there I feel like it's on their Instagram so if you go to their Instagram um, check out integrity toys and there's like a you'll 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 see what I'm talking about I'll check real quick. <laughs> So I'm I'm yeah. checking the uh, doll forums I'm in to see if there's anything about the inspiring women, but I don't see anything right now. Uh, okay. Um, it's it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, uh, on their website, if that's on their Instagram, it, then again. it's on the Instagram. So yeah, um, I re I really like this fashion pack. Like it's it's like it's pretty amazing, but. Again, I don't have anyone to put it on, so I'm like, "You need to get a poppy." I know, I know. I need to. I do. I, that's my that one, my one goal this year is to get a girl integrity doll so I can dress her up. Well, they're all different sizes, so you got to figure out which. Right. Uh, integrity's not Meryl's style. Good details. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a commitment for sure. Uh, Bear has a Trixie. Set up a rather should have made Nefra. Yeah. Trixie. I feel like a lot of a lot of people have Trixie, uh, just because she's like a celebrity doll, but um all right. Should we talk about you? Uh, your collection. <laughs> my collection that is not behind me. I am currently yeah. at my father's house. Those of you that know me know that I'm over here a lot. Uh, he's older. I'm not working, so kind of gives me something to occupy my time with when he needs a hand around the house and everything. So I do have a stash of things here with me that I dug through so that we can chat about them at some point during the call. But um, I started collecting, like I said earlier, probably in my mid to late teens, more leaning towards like movie stuff, Star Wars uh, specifically. Um, and then I think later um, Hasbro was doing, was it Hasbro? Somebody was doing the 12 inch GI Joes all over again. Okay. Um, I know when Gem and the Holograms came out, I made sure I got as many of those as I could. I think the only ones I never got was Aja and Shayna, because those were like the early releases. Um, and then those were the, the Hasbro ones. And then probably just random movie and celebrity dolls. Um, they had the Michael Jackson dolls back in you know the day and everything. So it just kind of snowballed from there. It just, yeah. you know, and then, you know, when integrity came out with the gem line, I think that was when I actually jumped into the integrity club. Otherwise I would just, you know, randomly pick one up here or there. Um, right. And actually eons ago, uh, I want to say it was like mid nineties, early nineties was the first time I went into Gigi's and Sherry's doll shop. Um, a friend of mine, who was a collector, she has since passed, but she had a huge collection. She actually, like it, it was my friends, one of my best friends, his girlfriend was teaching with this woman and she came over once, she's like, you have to meet my friend Eora. And I was like, okay, whatever. 
And then I go to this woman's house and she drags me to Gigi's and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like never not coming here <laughs> ever. <laughs> Gigi's is great. Um, I've, only, I've only been once cause, uh, because <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's, 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 a, it's, it's an amazing space. There's so much stuff in this space. Um, but she said, but they're super, super nice. They do layaway. They're super friendly. Right. They started, I think during COVID, they started putting a lot of stuff online as well and on eBay. So they've actually, their business actually maintained a steady flow from what I understand during COVID. Like after they got the kinks out of posting things online, uh, business started picking up again. That's awesome. Um, so do you have do you have anything to show? Um, do you want to show? I have lots of things to show. <laughs> this is this is this one is... when I was looking. This is probably one of my favorites that recently popped up. It is. Who is that? So she is actually from episode two of Star Wars. Uh, gosh, now I can't remember her name. I would feel like a jackass for not remembering it. But she was a changeling. She came with like a, a a snake mask that you would put over her face with the helmet. She was a bounty hunter. Okay. Um, and she did not come on this body. So this is a, it's not a made to move. It's just one of the Barbie, like kind of basic ones with the wrists and the elbows. But I thought she was pretty badass. She, this camera thing screwed me up. I thought she was pretty badass. She's, um, she has a very severe, it's a very yeah. severe face. She always looks angry or she's yeah. going to kick your butt or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to mess, <laughs> run into her in a dark alley for sure. She's a bounty hunter. And then I think there was a period, um, Hasbro did, I think it was Hasbro. They did a line of like the universal monsters. Um, okay. So this was Dracula. I love that mustache. The mustache is the best part, and his hands are like crazy, crazy. Oh, wow. Um, I recently picked up, and if I can locate it, I recently picked up, uh, they also did a wolfman and a mummy, and I got those at a horror movie convention over the weekend, last weekend, for like 20 bucks a pop, and they were still in the boxes, but I just, I pitched them. Their articulation is kind of basic. They got the click clicky snap knees um the elbows are snapping as well and i believe they're similar to when uh hasbro or kenner actually did this guy i think um he's not in his original outfit um this camera thing's growing me up cal ripkin jr who's a baseball okay. player okay um they did a line called starting lineup I forget the years it was, but um, they did a lot of like famous baseball players at the time. Um, and they came in their baseball gear and everything. And hence their hands are really big because they had um, baseball mitts and gloves and stuff like that. But okay. what is she so on? And that's his original body? It's his original body. Um, okay. It's kind of like the beefier G.I. Joes that they had for a stretch. Okay. Yeah. Um, his knees, uh, they are jointed. Um, sorry, Cal, you're stripping down here. Um, <laughs> they are kind of like the newer movie Ken and Barbie knees and elbows. Yeah. Um, but these have like their biceps twist as well. But they are definitely beefy compared yeah. to like a regular Ken doll. They also did. G.I. Joe's this is Major Blood. I don't have his helmet on, but um, uh, that is the gayest looking G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got he's got like bendy snappy knees. Um big okay. big hands that yeah. And, and what killer. what line is this? Like who who makes these again? Uh this one was from G.I. Joe. This was uh okay. it was I'd have to look at the date on his back or his butt, but um, the strip off his vest or look it up online but uh they were very kind of like the beefy 
beefy versions of the GI Joes that um, there was like a slender line of GI Joes they did, and then there's like these beefy ones, and then okay, um, I should have had more data on that. This is this is an Admiral Akbar I got not that long ago from probably from Quake or something. It's a toy resale shop. Here's Classic. Him. He's missing his belt. Um, crazy thing is the neck stops like right under his collar so like oh wow and the, the arms if you look like his forearms are oh that's so weird crazy, and then the rest of his arm is like human arms so yeah that's so weird um and then there's a couple of goodies here you you'd enjoy these these are some of the wwe Nice. I forget line. I think they were called the Titans, but they are twelve inches approximately. I, I never, I never think of like when I'm like looking for like boy dolls. I never think of like wrestlers or GI Joe or whatever for like bodies. You know? Yeah, uh, these guys are definitely a hard or like a hollow plastic, right? Um, so I don't know so much about rebodying them, but I mean. This is a repaint of um, and uh, Joey Joey Versa, V E R S A W. I follow him on Instagram. He does a okay. lot of uh, repaints. Um, That's really cute. Like, like the like size that. of them. He does really great work with their eyes, and you know this one I couldn't pass up with the mustache, but I yeah, think those I eyes him, are crazy. Um, I got him. I got him cheap because. He bought this at a thrift, and somebody had glued hair on his chest. Mm. And he said he, he was having trouble getting the hair off. So he's like, if you want it with the hair on the chest. That's so funny. Work. But yeah, that, that mustache is killer. Yeah, that's great. Um, can you show me the eyes again? I'm, I'm, yeah. Are they, are they like multicolored? Yeah, he usually paints them multicolored. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I really love that. Um, does, that's a really does, cool technique. He does uh, mostly female dolls, but I just happen to catch him when he does like the Ken and the. I think he did a Todd once. I never was able to grab it, but um, I believe they're all thrifted dolls that he gets and repaints okay. and has them up. That's awesome. Um, this guy, I have no idea who he is, but and I always wondered why influencers do this with their hands, and now I know. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he is again about Ken's. He is pretty much Ken's size. I want to say he might be an old blue jeans I'm, thing or something. But right, I wonder if he's like a like a like a character from a, like a TV show or something. Yeah, I don't. That I couldn't tell you. And I think when I bought him, I I just kind of I was like, I don't care. He's cheap. I need him. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are some more well this is the mummy I was telling you about that I got recently okay and the wolf man cool um, I love I love I love wolf man wolf man this is uh, some of you know the Flavas dolls mm -hmm. I don't I actually don't have I don't have a Flavas doll yeah uh, they're they're pretty cool they're they were Barbie's answer to Bratz, I believe, when Bratz hit the shelves. After my scene, this was like their side, like, let's do a hip hop thing. Okay. And they've got these cool bodies. I mean, they're real narrow, but they've got these like bendy toes. Oh, wow. um, and the elbows and knees, elbows are pretty much like the, the Barbie Ken doll movie. Right. Elbows, but the knees are the bend and snap. It's always Liam. It's always interesting to see the the pin joints. Like when you see a pin joint on a doll, oh, you're like, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see who else is here? Got some good one. Sorry, they're out of out of frame. Um, J JC needs a flavor. He needs a, He does. He keeps <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> uh, flavors was con controversial when they came out. Um, yeah, if you're meaning controversial, I know they, they, 
much like people thought the Bratz dolls were too adult for children to be playing with, I think they felt these because they were catering to the hip hop culture or something like that. that right. I think that's, I think that's what, or, you know, they, and plus I think most of the girls came with belly shirts and stuff like that. And that was probably a big topic. Um, Gorn, they did like a Star Trek line. Playmates did these. Okay. Um, they are 12 inch or actually these are 13 inch. I think I'm just going to keep referencing this Ken for like, <laughs> right size. Yeah. um, but they did a line mostly of like their captains of the ships and some of the favorite characters. This was one of the villains from the original, um, series with, uh, Shatner. Okay. Nice. Somebody there has a Gorn as well. <laughs> um, this is, um, I forget the character's name, but I got them at Quake, I think, or a store like Quake, um, from the Highlander movie series. Okay. He was one of the villains from one of the, the I want to say the second Highlander film. His leather pants are sh shedding all over my keyboard, so <laughs> he's going to go away. Um, this guy. You know who he is. Is that Snoop? It is Snoop. I forget when this came out, but I had to have one. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, he didn't come with any blunts or anything. No. This guy, I don't know where he's from. Uh, like, he, he looks like, like a, a soldier or something. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say, he looks like a jock, like insert he's, generic jock he's name love. he's got oh wow a little bit of a bump there uh that's that's crazy you don't you don't i don't know and a kind of butt yeah <laughs> um i feel like uh do they do that anymore like i feel like now it's just it's always like underwear like i feel like yeah. whenever i see like a I like a like a butt crack i don't know um <laughs> I feel like whenever I see a butt crack, I'm like, oh, that's an older doll because they don't do that anymore. Oh, my God. Like the gay. Well, the gay Bob just I can't remember if he's got a butt crack. I know he's got. He doesn't. Problem. He does not have a butt crack, <laughs> which is weird, which is weird because he has a front, then obviously. He'd be perfect for this guy. Right. Right. Shape. Right. Oh, my gosh. Um, this guy. Oh, my, oh that's funny. Guy. <laughs> um, I, I'm sure he's from a Japanese whatever. If I could turn his face to you, that would help. Oh, that's but so interesting. I saw him on the shelf of this retail retail shop, like on the way top, and just okay. like covered in dust. And I was like, I need to see that. And <laughs> he brought it down. He was missing hands. I put a hand on him, but the other one fell off somewhere. So I need to find it. It, is his hand was his was his hand blue like his face? Um, I don't know because his body, you know, the whole line came with a line of like robotic figures, and if you could see, his arm is like translucent. Oh, uh, okay. Um, the other robots are all <laughs> translucent, like giant micronauts, but they're not micronauts. I don't know if you remember the micronauts toy line. Uh, like, vaguely, vaguely. Seventies and eighties. I'm an old man. Uh, you, you and me both. This is probably one of my favorite Blaine's. Blaine. Mm -hmm. I love, I love that head sculpt. I love it's it so a great much. One. Yeah. I know JC's got his favorite, the guy, the one with the middle part. Um, sorry, I'm reaching off screen here. Oh, that's fine. Um, this was from the same starting lineup with the baseball guy okay this was um brett Favre from back in the day oh wow he's got his football passing hand which is gigantic i i love that these sports like i feel like all the sports dolls that you've shown me their cheeks are like blushed they are uh, they, totally, they totally are yeah they're like all blushed up like which i think is adorable but it's just really funny he also almost looks like a disney prince or something with the blood. Totally. 
Yep. Yep. Um, speaking of middle part, Blaine, JC is going to scream. Well, this is the side part, Blaine. <laughs> I need to get. I, I don't think I have a Blaine either. Do I? No, I do have a Blaine. I do have a Blaine. The middle part is probably a bunch of people's favorites. Look at that angel. <laughs> I bought. I got this shirt. It was on a stuffed bear in a thrift shop. So oh my god! So funny. funny. I love. I love repurposing clothing like especially like girl clothing oh to boy sure. dolls i think it's so funny um i think i have like one or two other goodies okay if i can reach them excuse me ernest borg dying oh sweet <laughs> that's a that's a face from and this is his original outfit okay from the I want to say it was Mego did a line for the Black Hole movie. Okay. The Disney, the Disney Black Hole movie that they don't really talk about a lot. Is his face? Um, his face is like is white, right? It's not. Yeah. It's not something, he's right? turning. He's turning green yeah. from the oxidization of the plastic. Uh, plasti dip. Plasti dip. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It um, works. So a fr my friend that passed years ago, she used to call that when her dolls would get that face, she would call it space dolly sickness because it only happened to her dolls that were like based on space characters like Buck Rogers and stuff like that. That's so fine. Um, ooh, lost my earpiece. And let me grab this and these. Um, I have a friend. Vonda, who I've met at the horror movie conventions that repaints old okay. Ken dolls and Barbie dolls, and they're pretty affordable. Um, this was, if you've ever seen, I think it's Donna the Dead. She did um, Flyboy from that movie. He's like one of the zombies that shows up at the end. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, I think it's on one of the um, Patrick Dempsey dolls from... Uh, okay whatever that enchanted movie is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She also and this I just couldn't pass out because it's Pee Wee, but she did Pee Wee from uh Oh wow um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, that's great. Um so good. And then I think my other favorite space guy is I can't remember what line this was, uh Dr. Smith from Yes lost in space yeah that's pretty good um and then one of the guys that shows up in jc's and my favorite um videos is uh it's Liam Neeson <laughs> from star wars uh, but he reminds me too much of bob from the twin peaks series if you know who bob okay I, I never i never got into twin peaks but uh, that's really funny. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got his hair's weird, like it's because he has a like a man bun in the movie, so it's really okay. thin up top. Um, but he shows up as a killer in some of the videos that I shoot with JC. He was sad I couldn't find him for a while, so he's back, JC. <laughs> um, no need to worry. And then probably the last. Unless, I mean, I could go all night, but my last uh, favorite set is the um, kind of early days of Sideshow, or not so early days, but kind of like after Sideshow Toys started getting really going, uh, they did a Buffy line from the Buffy yeah. Vampire series, uh, the Vampire Slayer. Uh -huh. They did a three pack that was the gentleman from, there was an episode called Hush. Okay. Uh, anybody else knows Buffy Hush is like one of the it's an episode where these three guys that all look exactly like this um, and they made three different sculpts of and different height dolls um, sorry for the wrestling bag no, you're fine. Uh, they made three of them different face sculpts uh, different heights 
Uh, they actually went around town. They would steal everybody's voice so that they could run around town killing people and nobody could scream. So that was the gist of their their lore on the right. Um, but those are probably some of my favorites that I had laying around here handy. The gay bot uh, one is obviously a really good one, but you yeah you reviewed that last week. Gay gay, gay Bob is is, is amazing. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, well, well, thanks for that. Thanks for that uh, that impromptu tour. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, there he is. Um, I have I two. I have two of him actually. <laughs> this is the one from the last movie, I think, with the aliens. Okay, but. Um, JC and I were actually watching Thanksgiving, which is a recent horror film that came out. Mm -hmm. um, and the actor was in it, and we were both watching it. And I'm like, I know I know that guy from somewhere. I know I know. And that was him in the movie. Um, I have not seen any of those movies. They're multiple movies, right? <laughs> uh, Disney one, the zombie. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's three, I believe. Yeah, I, I've never seen them, but I, I was attracted to the doll because it's it his skin is so light. I just mm -hmm. there was something I was like, oh, that's cool. So, but I, I do have two of them. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna customize one of them very soon. So, um, yeah, this cool. one's weird because he's supposed to be wearing football pants, but like the top part of his leg is white and the bottom part is blue. So, oh, that's weird. It'd be kind of weird to customize them without dealing with that yeah um yeah i've been i've been experimenting uh with doll dying so oh um yeah How's that been going <laughs> no uh, i'm putting I'm, th there'll be a video on it next week so you'll you'll see you'll see you'll see what happens but that's all i'll say about oh it gosh. But you've done um, the you've done the plastic dip trick with the, uh, the green. with the fa with the face for faces. Yeah. 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 I did. Doesn't, a, I did. It doesn't mess with their paint at all. No, no. I did it for um for fashion candy. Oh, okay, um, okay. And it turned out pretty well, uh, although her head popped off. So <laughs> there was there's that. Uh, <laughs> not 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 from the plastic dip. It just it just popped off, and like I'm like I don't want to deal with it. So she's she's in her box with her head kind of like off off of her body, just like so. Uh, it, it's endearing. Um, so I wanted to do a quick a quick show and tell, maybe unboxing. I don't know yet. Um, I did get the the reproduction the reproduction dolls for Monster High. Um. They are insanely priced right now for some reason. Um, if you go into Amazon, the only one that was at the regular price was Spectra, I believe. But the other ones are just like insanely priced and I would not purchase them. Um, but yeah, and I'm probably going to open them. I don't know if I'm going to do videos on them or, or, or whatever, but We'll see. So that's the one thing. And the other thing I wanted to briefly talk about was that I, I ordered some of these mini Barbie land sets. Um, there's this one and this one. And then I got one of these. I got the convertible because I was like, I want the convertible. So and I think I have one, one other set on order. So I think um, these are these are like super cute, and there's then they're like these were like ten bucks each, and this one was like six bucks. So it's like it's super cheap, it's super cute. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're into like miniature stuff. I think you'd probably be into this, and I love that the dolls themselves are they're like articulated. <laughs> I guess. Are they are they um poly pocket size or like around? they th it looks it looks poly pocket. Um mm. I don't I don't know. I, I'm gonna say yes, but 
Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they are compatible with Polly Pocket. But the other thing is, I don't know if the doll that they show on the package is the actual doll that you get because there's a bunch of like question marks. And then there's like um, a, a weird, like, you know, what are you going to get be in here? <laughs> right. So uh, what I want to do, I think actually what I want to do, um, and you, I mean, this one obviously comes with, with this one. So, uh, I'm debating whether I want to open one of these now. Um, because I really want to know. And po Poly Pocket's a Mattel product as well. That was just right. Right. Uh, I'm going to hold off, I think. I think I'm going to hold off. I'm surprised it took them this long to kind of merge the two like that. Yeah. Um, Bluebird Polly Pockets and Fashion Polly Pocket. Interesting. I don't, I'm not, I don't know like Polly Pocket very well uh, to know like what manufacturers, like how, how they differ, but um, I wonder if Fashion Polly Pocket is like, because because there's like the the tiny like fashion the, the tiny poly pockets, but then there's like the bigger ones, right? Yeah, there's the bigger ones that have like rubber clothes that you slip on. Right. Yeah, these are definitely more along the lines of. See, I don't know because they they they're kind of big. They're definitely like probably like an inch and a half. So they're not they're not like. I would say they're they're bigger than Polly Pocket, like the original Polly Pocket. And they're they're articulated at the waist. They're articulated at the waist, yeah. Okay. It's hard to tell, but yeah, right, right there. Um, and I think that's pretty much where Polly Pocket bends. I don't know if her arms move, but I know her waist bends. Right. Um, okay, so let's um, let's let's. Do a giveaway, I guess. Um, okay, so it's giveaway time. Uh, so I need to go over some things before we get into the giveaway. So uh, what I'm going to do is there are four to or I'm sorry, eight total prizes. And I'm going to group them into two sets. So I'll show you the first four potential prizes. And then next week, you'll know what you're going to be uh, playing for. But then I'll let you know what the, the last four are two weeks from now. So wow. just want to give a, li a little suspense. Um, so... And I think I totally forgot to do something. No. So hold, hold, hold the phone for one second. Um, do you need me to talk about something else while you do that? Uh, it, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I I have a we're doing a we're doing a fun wheel. So. Um, ah. I forgot to I forgot to load up the wheel. I can talk uh, about Doug in the meantime. Doug. <laughs> For anybody, God, what was the name? MTV did a spoof of boy bands a while back. Oh and yes, Doug yes. Doug was supposed to be the old man in the group. Is um, he the one with the? Is he the? Is he the one with the the bigger guy? Yeah, he's the he's Chris Farley's brother, actually. In right, right, right. Okay, so but I've he, seen pictures of this doll. How is it just that his shirt is like padded out? Is that what it yeah, is? His shirt and his pants are padded. Like he's totally oh. like, off body underneath, but the shirt is probably got a layer of padding inside, and the pants are definitely made. That's than normal. Time. That's kind of a bummer. I know. I'm really bummed about that. Um, I think the band yeah. was called Together, and it was a number two. Together. And then the T yep. was a plus sign. Oh, yeah. Yep. Last yep. collections got it. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, uh, the good old days. Um, okay. So the four dolls that we're, you're, you're, you're potentially going to play. So what we're going to do is <laughs> I feel like I'm explain. I'm like over explaining. Uh, I'm going to put these four dolls. I'm going to put on a wheel. And then those are the ones that we're going to give away. And then we're going to do the actual giveaway. Hopefully that makes sense. So first thing we're playing for is a um, fashionista. This is the one with the hearing aid. Um, I love him, and he's also on a broad body. So if you're in the broad bodies, this is your your dude. Um, we have an um, you froze now, Asha doll. I don't know. If it's frozen for everyone, but you're frozen for me. Oh, um, am I frozen? Am I still frozen? Yes, at least on my end. Can anyone else see me? Yep, now you're moving. Okay. <laughs> um, so we have the Ken Fashionista. We have an Asha doll. We have Max Wonder, LOL tween. He is uh, one of my favorites. He's adorable. Uh, and then we have a Monster Ball Claudine because I love her outfit and she has an amazing outfit. So those are the four for the next two weeks. And then, like I said, we'll do another four for the last two weeks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. So here are the dolls. So we're gonna spin and see which ones we're playing for. So. Here we go. I wish I, I need to like, I think next week I might, I might look for some music or something. Um, okay. <laughs> Click the spin. Here we go. Claudine, Claudine it is. Yeah. So that was the first one. Um, then, the second one will be <laughs> Claudine again. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to take Claudine out of the mix, uh, which is what I should have done before. Okay. There we go. Max Wonder. I think it's Max. Max Wonder. All right. We're playing for Claudine. Max Wonder tonight. So, um. Oh, look at that from Chris. If you hit the, the blue button on that pop up screen, it gets rid of that entry from there. It'll remove it. Oh. Them. Thanks, like, Chris. When you when you were describing that LOL doll, I thought you said LOL twink. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> tween, twink, same difference. Um, real quick, uh, rules, quick rules. Uh, this is U.S. and Canada only for now. Um, you can only win once. So if you win tonight, if you win one tonight, you're you're out of the game uh, for the rest of the month. Uh, I just want to I just want to give everyone a chance. And um, eighteen and older, you know, regular giveaway stuff. Uh, you should you need to be present to win. Obviously, you need to be subscribed to the YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you are picked. Just just uh, send me a message on Instagram with your mailing address, and that's it. So, uh, LOL Twink is what I write. So that's that's funny. <laughs> um, all right. So the giveaway tool that we're using is oh okay. So how we're gonna how I'm gonna pick a name is you're going to enter a hashtag in the chat and you're gonna enter hashtag doll junkie into the chat if you want to enter. So I will wait a few minutes 
for you to enter hashtag doll junkie and you will be entered into the giveaway. So that hashtag is great. I just picture someone in an alley behind a dumpster, like shivering and <laughs> shooting up dolls. Their, their their pockets are empty and have just, holes in them. And, just... and they're just full of like doll heads and like exactly. limbs and like uh yeah. <laughs> Um, you know what? I didn't think about which one. <laughs> oh, Diane's throwing you for a loop there. I know. Um, you know what? I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Let's. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Doll Junkie, Doll Junkie will be for Max Wonder. So, um, we'll play for for Max Wonder. So hopefully if you've entered, you want Max Wonder. <laughs> if you don't, let me know. But for the next one, I'll change I'll change the hashtag. Um ba -ba -ba -ba. awesome vids said delete. Awesome vids, okay. Um, all right. Uh, I will give it another minute. It sounds, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like it's just eight. If you want to enter to win Max Wonder, all you need to do is add hashtag doll junkie into the chat and you will be entered. So if you want a free doll, <laughs> enter doll junkie. Into the chat. It's a very cute twink, twink doll. He is he is adorable? I have um, I actually have two of these, just because uh, I I definitely want to like customize him. Uh, I want to dye his hair so bad. Yeah, I have. And is this to, I have yet to dye hair or reroot. I think um, dyeing yeah. hair is definitely easier. <laughs> Eons ago, I know I've done like permanent marker, and that was a big no no. But, um, I've heard also of a method of using acrylic paint on lighter hair. Okay. And you let it dry, and then you can mm. rinse it off or wash it off, and it'll, it doesn't give you the exact color, but if you use like a red on blonde hair, it'll stain the, the hair follicle like pinkish so right i've never tried it but it's something i've meant to try with uh kind of brighter colors or neon colors right um okay i think we're gonna i think we're gonna draw so um good luck everyone and here we go Meryl, yay! Meryl, you won this uh, Max Wonder. You are our winner. So, uh, Meryl, why don't you message me on Instagram with your mailing address? And, uh, yeah, I'll get this out to you. And Max, Max is supposed to be like a nerd, isn't he? Like a science nerd? I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I don't know what his what his backstory is. Um, I thought he was supposed to be like non-binary, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, all right, let me let's set this up again. Giveaway number two coming up in one second. <laughs> We'll just get Cal Ripken to dance for you. Make it again. All right. 
Next hashtag. We'll make it real, real simple and real clear. So, if you if you want this Claudine, this Monster Ball Claudine doll, and you live in the U.S. or Canada, um, go ahead and enter hashtag Claudine into the chat, and you will be entered to win her. Um, I, go ahead. I was going to say, speaking of Monster High, I saw that three pack that's supposed to be coming out of the, uh, it's like the girl band. The where, the where, the where cats. Yeah. The where cats. Yeah. That's cute. I, I love the twins. I think the twins look really good. I love the, like the black and white color mm. scheme. I think it's really fun. I don't really care about Torali so much, but I definitely love the, the other two. Um. Yeah, there's a bunch. There's a there's so many Monster High. There's so much Monster High coming out. Um. It's like it's hard to keep track of. Honestly, I'm glad. I'm glad they brought the line back. Yeah, I mean, I I I I, I obviously missed that missed that boat, but um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying G three. I think a lot of the, the designs are really fun. Um, some more than others, <laughs> but uh, I, I love their furniture sets. It's just they're so pricey sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like those those definitely go on sale a lot for yeah. sure. <laughs> Meality and Persephone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So cute. All right, last call for Claudine Monster Ball. Uh, I'm sorry, Abel. I will. I am going to do. I I will do. I will do an international at some point. Um, I'm just like doing baby steps. Like my first one was U.S. This one is U.S. and Canada. I think maybe the next one will be international. Santa, Santa Enzo. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing this because it's, it is kind of like a, it's more of like a thank you to people that watch, and, and you know, I, I do appreciate everyone that watches, and, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I enjoy giving. Uh, okay, we are going to run it. So, good luck, everyone. And uh, yeah, here we go. Is it gonna be Lashawn? Congratulations! Yay! Uh, sweet. So, uh, message me on Instagram with your mailing address, and I will get this out to you. So, so yeah. Uh, that, that was the giveaway. So yeah, we'll be doing this every week, uh, for the next three weeks. And, uh, next week you will be, uh, playing for these two. And, uh, yeah, I guess I think that's it. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much, Koi, for, for joining me and keeping me company. Thanks for it having was, me. It, it was a lot of fun. It was lo lovely. Um, but yeah. Uh, same time, same place next week. And uh, have a lovely, lovely, lovely week. And um, yeah, uh, congratulations to everyone who won. And uh, thank you for watching and blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, I, I never know. I, it's ending, the, ending these is so like weird. But you anyway, I'm just... No, never, never. <laughs> All good things must come to an end, though. So uh, anyway, all right. Uh, we'll see you next week.